Right everybody, um, I'm going to demonstrate today how to do an instrument landing system, ILS auto land in an Airbus A320 aircraft. I'm currently on final approach to the Isle of Man, Ronald's Way Airport from London Stansted. I'm in an EasyJet aircraft. So we're approaching. So we're we're currently approaching um, the localizer line, and um, oh, I'm going to demonstrate here in this picture what this current scenario looks like. So. Okay, um, what we need to do now is, in order to make sure this is successful, we need the instrument landing system frequency for the runway. So if we go into the flight management computer by bringing up Shift 5, clicking on Echo Golf November Sierra 26, that is our runway. And our frequency for ILS runway 26, which we are landing on, is 111.15. So we stick that in here by clicking nav, ILS, 111.150 in there and we press green to make sure that's the active frequency and press the audio thing, audio button. So when we hear a beeping noise we enable the VOR localizer switch and this plane will land by itself. I've got the throttle quadrant on one side so there we go, enable that, VOR localizer switch and turn off the audio. Air traffic control is currently speaking to me, telling me to turn left heading 290, I'm going to go for 310 actually. So we need to acknowledge his instructions and tune Ronald's Way Tower. I'm going to put out flaps 2. As you can see that coming up here. Let's just acknowledge the pattern entry instruction so it EZ, easy jet number 446 on Ronald's Way Tower. We are being instructed to fly straight in, runway 26, following the altimeter 29 at 9 at 2. So we acknowledge the pattern entry instructions. You can see the Isle of Man just ahead. If we go into bird's eye view, here we are, just there. And we've flown, we fly to here, from here, London Stansted. We're currently, as you can see, holding an altitude of 4,000 feet, a heading of 310, and a speed of 200 knots. And that can be seen in the primary flight display just there, 4,000 feet, 200 knots, heading 310. So we're going to do a final checklist for landing. We're going to make sure that the ILS switch is enabled, the traffic collision avoidance system is set to all. TCAS traffic collision avoidance system TARA, our transponder is still on. If we go into the overhead panel, our landing lights are on, our taxi lights or nose lights are set to take off, and our runway turn off recognition lights are on, the seatbelt signs are on, propeat is on, engine anti ice is also on as the temperature currently is below 10 degrees. So that's all set. So we need to hold 200 knots. In fact, I'm just going to bring the speed down to 185. Here is the cockpit of an Airbus A320. You've probably all been on one of these before on your holidays. Real life mock-up here in the simulator. They actually use these to train. And you can see now the aircraft is turning by itself because we've become level with the VOR localizer line just there and you can see the um, beacon there, waypoint, Charlie Foxtrot number 26 meaning 
that's the input for runway 26. And now, as you can see, the glide slope section of the ILS, that dimension, is moving downwards, which controls the pitch and altitude of the plane as it comes into land. So we need to disable VOR localizer switch and enable the approach hold button and the second autopilot button. That is crucial. If you don't do that, the auto land will not work. This is a Category 2 or Category th category 3 instrument landing system ILS approach and landing. Due to the poor visibility today, we only have 7 miles of visibility using... I'm actually using a real world weather plug-in right now, so this is what the weather is like in Ronald's way. So I'm going to slow to 150 knots. And I'm going to set flaps to 3. passenger window as we come into land here over the Irish Sea. Here's the outside. We're in Golf Echo Zula Whiskey Lima GEZWL Airbus A320 which currently flies for EasyJet. This particular aircraft was only delivered in the summer so it's relatively new in the sim as well. As you can see the altitude is now decreasing as the glide slope dimension of the instrument landing system is controlling the aircraft. Now we are just sitting above 2150 knots. We're going to arm the speed brakes. We should have done that earlier but I've had them out to slow down on in the descent. So I forgot to arm those. It's like getting a minor fault on your driving test that is. Oh well. But here we are just coming in, just cruising in now. Aircraft is completely flying itself. I've got my joystick quadrant plugged in on one side and my throttle quadrant plugged in on the other side. I'm not touching any of those. I'll need to touch the throttle quadrant momentarily in order to control the speed once I disable the auto throttle at our decision height of 200 feet. As you can see the runway is just tight just there. There's four white lights on the left hand side of the runway, or four lights. When you're coming in at the perfect altitude on the glide slope, you'll have two reds and two whites. This is called the Precision Approach Path Indicator, or PAPI. And um, if you've got more reds than whites, you're too low, you're below the glide slope. If you've got more whites than reds, you're too high. We've got two reds, two whites at the moment, so we're perfectly level. As you can see, Echo Golf November Sierra, EGNS, Ronalds Way Airport, runway number 26, is straight ahead on our primary, um, no that's the primary flight display, on our navigation display just there, and that is the line the aircraft is following in, the VOR localizer, um, and that's explained in the map that I provided a moment ago. But as you can see we're just coming in now, 150 knots, I'm going to slow down to 135 knots and I'm going to put the landing gear down. So we've got the landing gear lights here and we're going to wait for those to go three green. So I'm going to pull my landing gear lever that I've got plugged in. I'm just going to acknowledge the landing clearance. That's air traffic control clearing me to land. So I'm going to hit G, gear down. You can hear the vibrations as it comes down. Green, two green, three green. There, gear down. There we go. I'm now going to set flaps to full. You can hear the aircraft speeding up for it to maintain 135 knots. Here we are. Passenger window. As you can see, we've got two reds, two whites at either side of the runway, or on the left hand side of the runway. 1,000. 1,000 feet, the automatic call out system. 
And in a moment we're going to retard the throttles, that means pull them back to idle. And once we've touched down on the runway we're going to engage the reverse thrust. On my throttle quadrant, that's, there's the two throttles and then there's a lever on the front of either of those two. And we're going to pull that upwards. Reverse thrusters are on it will hear like hear as if the plane is speeding up, but it's not, it's actually slowing down and it's the aircraft engine spooling the other way. So we're going to disable the throttle. I'm controlling the thrust 200. with my throttle quadrant. 100. 50, 40, 30. 20, return, return. 60 knots, reverse thrusters disengaged, and we are safely down on the runway. Echo 28446, turn next taxiway. Let's disable the autopilot. Hang on a sec, there's somebody at the door. Sorry about the disturbance, folks. I want to turn in the taxiway. Just disable that VOR localizer switch. Put the flaps away. Echo 28446, contact ground on 118.9. Acknowledge ground hand off. Point 118.9, Echo 28446. Request taxi to the gate. Echo 28446, taxi to the gate. Echo 28446, taxi to gate 6 via taxiway Bravo. Taxiing to gate 6 using taxiway Bravo. Echo 28446. So this instructed me to taxi to gate 6, so let's just turn on the auxiliary power unit. And that is it, basically. Well, we're just going to put the transponder on standby mode. Um, we're going to turn off the landing lights. Those lights to taxi, strobes off, wing anti-ice on, engine anti-ice on, APU bleed on. And that's it, and then you obviously taxi into the gate and the rest is history. But... That is how to land an Airbus A320 family aircraft using the instrument landing system. Auto land, category 3 auto land. Does it all by itself. This, you have to remember though this is a simulator. It is used to train real pilots and this is the procedures and controls in this simulator are exactly the same as the real aircraft. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time for some hardcore Minecraft. See you later. Goodbye.